the people who walked in darkness. A few weeks ago, I preached a sermon that named all the ways that this season feels hard for so many. All the ways people have been walking in darkness, personally and with their families and in their communities and in the world. It has indeed been a dark time for many of us. But tonight we make our way through the darkness and through the snow and through the cold to come to this space in search of the light. And tonight Isaiah tells us that our search is not in vain. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. Boots of the warriors, garments rolled in blood, these shall be burned as fuel for a fire to keep warm. Hear this, people of God. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow, and there shall be peace. Justice and righteousness will be hallmarks of his kingdom. These words, these words that we hear year after year, have they become too familiar? Have they lost the capacity to surprise us? Can we hear them as the amazing, stunning good news that they are? Can we hear the hope they contain? Or is our darkness as thick as the blowing rock fog? and we just can't find our sense of direction, let alone see the light. But it doesn't matter how thick the darkness is on this night. You have come this far, and your heart is locked on this light like a homing beacon. You may have stumbled your way through the dark to get here, but here you have come. And everything about this night cries of joy and light and hope and possibility. And this liturgy is going to keep working on you until this light penetrates to the core of your being. It might be the stunning music that always has the capacity to blow our heart wide open and soften whatever may have grown hard. It may be the incense that allows us to breathe deep of mystery. It might be the glow of the candles or the beauty of the flowers that bids us to pause and take this night in. It may sneak up on us in the bread and the wine that will feed our deepest hunger. I don't know where that moment will come for you, but somewhere in this night, the light is going to penetrate your darkness, just like it did to those shepherds out in their fields, and let you know that the ground has just shifted beneath your feet. And when that moment comes, it may at first fill you with terror. Nothing feels more out of control than the full-on glory of God. But heed the angel's words. Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you was born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Don't be afraid. Let these events take your breath away. Let them move you. Let them sweep you to make haste to see this holy child born to heal us 
and make us whole. Your yearning brought you here on this cold, dark, snowy night when you could have been anywhere else. This holy child is born of desire, ours and God's, each longing for the other. Tonight is as much a journey for God as it is for us. And tonight that journey brings us all to this manger. God placing God's very self into our arms and looking up into our eyes, cooing and wooing us to fall in love. And we gazing down into those tiny eyes, gazing into the marvel of all that divinity packed into that tiny being utterly blown away that God chose this space, this time, this tiny being as the place to make the divine presence undeniably, intimately close. God has slipped into our flesh. God has slipped into our vulnerable, mortal, human flesh come to speak the language of love into our hearts, the kind of love that you only know when you gaze into love's eyes and see love gazing back, the kind of love that shines out in the darkest of nights and guides us home. It doesn't matter how dark it's been. It was never going to be a match for the birth we celebrate tonight. Tonight you have seen a great light, but even more, that light has slipped into your flesh. Christ has been born, not just in a manger, but in you. And you are radiant. So go into the dark of this night, and even if the darkness continues into tomorrow, Know that this light lives in your flesh, illuminates your heart, and will always guide you home.